The Past Worlds Gallery at the Natural History Museum of Utah is a really awesome place if you want to see what Utah was like uh, millions and millions of years ago. So you start out walking past the preparation lab and then the space opens up with wonderful mounts that tower overhead as you uh, enter the space and as you wind your way through you're basically it's it's basically a step through time. It's very much sort of a walk through the natural history of a state. You're really getting to see a great um, cross-section in time of, of Utah dinosaurs and I think that's what is really the most interesting part about that is that you won't see a better collection of, of regional dinosaurs both original fossils and reconstructions. One of my favorite things in the Past Worlds Gallery is what we call the Ceratopsian skull wall and it's really really neat because it shows the diversity of Ceratopsians that we have exhibited by their skull and the ornamentations on their skull and what makes it really cool is it's actually a cladogram or a family tree and we have the centrosaurs on one side and the chasmosaurs on the other. The mount of the Allosaurus family taking down a sauropod the way that they were mounted and just like the, the mud tracks around the sauropod's feet, you could just kind of see the defeat emanating from something that is really just bones and really probably didn't have emotions, but um, the way that you kind of connect with that scene was really special to me. So the paleontological, uh, you know, gem, the Cleveland Lloyd exhibit, you know, this, this museum houses, you know, the vast material of one of the larger dinosaur sites in probably all the world. The entire exhibit is just laid out so beautifully and the, the timeline and transition as you work your way upstairs is really amazing. It's such an amazing space just to see how everything sort of ties together and, um, and really brings you through the world of dinosaurs and, and into past, past worlds.